Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Queen of Time. I don't know why I whispered that. But anyway, basically what you have to do here is a but. Like I said, I said this before, each frog represents a different note on your ocarina. So each frog basically represents a different button. And a butterfly will appear above a certain frog and you have to um, figure out which, fro which note that frog represents and hit that button in time. And you have to be re pretty quick about it. So the combination is, is the same every single time you play. So as soon as you have it memorized, it's not too difficult. I do have it written down because I have it memorized, but uh, the problem is playing it fast enough. So here we go. Oh, ho, ho, first try. Yeah. Damn straight, motherfuckers. No. Young boy, you did it great. Perfect. We are stuffed, Ribbit. Would you take this as a token of our gratitude? Yes, I will very much. Let me get another heart piece. Awesome. Sauces. Alright. Um, next up is... Well... Uh, let's see, what should we do next? Um... Shut up. I know you guys are laughing right now. Shut up. Just, just shut up. I know I know you guys are just laughing your asses off and going just like, Oh, what an idiot. What a goddamn idiot. He forgot the, he forgot the prelude of light. Well, you know what? I don't care. I don't damn care, so shut up. It's not funny. It's just not funny. Why am I forgetting these songs? I mean, first the Song of Time, now the Prelude of Light. I never forget these songs. You know, I swear, it's because I'm recording. You know, because... And don't don't give me any of this crap of an LP curse and shit, because that's... All that's a bunch of... That's just a bunch of load of cow pie. You know, what it is, is because... What the LP curse really is. It's not a curse, it's just... When you're LPing, you're too focused on your commentary. You know, you're so focused on finding things to say that... You, sometimes you tend not to focus on the game and you forget the simplest things. And it happens to everybody. Because I I have never forgotten those songs before in my life. But because I was focusing on commentary, you know, of course I forgot them. Uh, oh, we gotta do that now, lovely. Not really, I don't like that. It's no fun. I don't have a play, I don't have, oh, I don't have a warp there either, I can't get there quickly, so I'll have to walk. Oh well, nothing wrong with walking. It's always fun. Get away from me. Their screams are scary too. But I find the the Rededs in uh, Wind Waker, I find their screams much much more scary than the ones in in uh in this game. You know what I did one time um for Halloween? I can't I think this was not not this year, but Halloween in 09 or was it 08? I can't remember. One of those Halloweens, what I did was I um I turned on my game of Ocarina of Time, and I rec I went to a place that had Rededs, and I recorded their scream on a tape. And then what I did was I put that tape by the door on Halloween, and put it on an infinite loop. So, like it it wouldn't play right after uh, over and over and over again right away. It 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 would uh, play the scream and then wait. I don't know what was it like 30 seconds or something like that and then play again and I just did it I put it on a loop like that and played it um, on Halloween night when people when kids were coming to the door <laughs> it actually it scared the shit out of some kids sometimes too it was hilarious anyway um okay you may recognize this game yeah now the thing with this game is it's the same game as when we got the uh, slingshot upgrades, but uh, here's the catch. It's basically the same game, but unlike the slingshot one, where it was the same pattern every time. Uh, this one, the pattern is random every time you play the game. So I may take, it may take me a few tries on this. Um, do you want to play? Yes. Um, it's the same... Uh, freaking... See, look at that. I failed it already. Shit. 
Okay, come on, get ready here, dude. Okay, I don't know why I'm concentrating here. I've lost it already. I wasn't ready, man. I just wasn't ready for it. Ugh. One way. I've... Yeah, you get a free try. Uh... <laughs> God, this is very this is actually really hard because you have no idea what's coming up. As you can see, it's the same like the patterns are the same, but they appear in a random order than they did last time. Than they did last time. Okay. And the problem is the joystick is so sensitive. You know, you tilt it just slightly and it goes flying over. Okay, I would like to I would like it if this did not take an entire video. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. There we go. Yeah, you cannot talk during that. I'd like to see somebody who can get that perfectly, like in a let's play, who can get that perfectly while talking the entire time. Because that is very, that can actually be very difficult. Um. Oh, shiznap. Do I have to do that now? I guess we do. All right, we're gonna need arrows and a pona. And we're going to need to be wandering around the field with our arrows and opponent. I think you probably guys already know, already probably know what I'm talking about here. It's that thing everybody hates. Everybody seems to hate it. The prize you get, people just feel that the prize you get for it is just not worth all the trouble you go through. But because this is 100%, we're doing it anyway. We have arrows, so we can do it now. You have to have arrows and opponent to do this. Um, basically, there are ten poses throughout Hyrule Field, and you're going to need to find them all. No, no Shut up, you answering me. I didn't finish my sentence with that. Like, I can turn off my phone. I can turn the ringer off of my phone, but I can't turn my answering machine off. Like, it has volume buttons, but no matter how many times I press them, it just the volume never seems to never seems to change. I don't know why. It won't let me turn the volume down on my answering machine. I guess I guess what I could do is unplug it. But then if someone calls and it's important, like an emergency or something, I don't know why that would happen, but you never know. Then I'd miss the message. Oh, you're quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. You don't have to talk to this guy, but he's such a huge part of the side quest. I figured I'd talk to him first. <laughs> Your name is Pyro, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If you looked as if I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> what? I don't even want to know what he's talking about. My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Probably the only ghost shop in the world. Because of the great Gan because of the great Gandorf, it's fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poes are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. There are none in the graveyard. Well, there are poes there, but none you need. Young man, if you catch a poe, I'll pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> yeah, you can catch regular poes, but we're looking for the big poes. Alright, now, I'm going to tell you guys the honest truth here. I actually really like this side quest. Dude, I walked right through a pona there. A lot of people seem to hate it. I find it a lot of fun. Alright, there are pe ten poes throughout Hyrule Field. They're all in different locations. I have all the locations memorized. Like, I don't need a guide for this, so I'm not going to be wandering around wondering where Poe is. I know where they all are. Um, 
basically every time you catch one in a bottle, you take it back to that guy and he'll give you rupees for it. And if you bring them all ten, you'll get an empty bottle, which will be our fourth empty bottle. Um, you have to be on a Pona. If you try to go to where one of the big Pos is on foot, it'll appear as a regular Po. And you have to shoot them with arrows while riding on a Pona. Thing is, they won't stick around when you when you go over there. When you go to them on a Pona, they'll try to run away. Um, so you'll have to be quick with the arrows. Um, to get the big post to appear, you have to run over just like a specific spot with a Pona to get them to appear. So um, the reason I'm delaying here is because I kind of don't want to start this till a new video, but th I don't think I'm gonna be able to delay for another four minutes. I don't have nothing to talk about. So here we go. The first one is right in front of me. Um, at the fork in this path, right here by the sign. And there you go. There's number one of ten. Um, oh shit. I forgot you need empty bottles for this, so I'm gonna have to let go of my bugs. But that's alright. So let's take these out. I don't need a fairy. Never have needed a fairy. But I do need the bugs, but unfortunately I gotta let them go. Get out of here, bugs. Buggy bugs. Alright. Grab the pole. You just run up to it and touch it, and you wanna catch it in a bottle, yes. You don't actually have to have your bottles equipped to catch it. So. Get back on Epona. Now, uh, let's see which one's next. I'm gonna. What the hell was that? Okay. I thought something popped up on my computer screen there. Okay, I'm going to get the hard one out of the way first. There is one of them that is pretty difficult and can be a pain in the ass. That's one over here by the entrance of Kakariko Village. I'm going to get this one out of the way first because it's pretty difficult. I would like to do, what I like to do is run up here. Okay. Turn around. This. Uh, what I do is wait here a couple seconds. And then go. And it'll usually appear... There you go. That's the one by uh that's actually, that's the one by Kakariko Village entrance right there. So there's your next one. And every time you get three, you're gonna have to run back to the uh, guy in the ghost shop because you only have three bottles, so you can only carry three at a time. That's one thing that makes this a little annoying is having to run back to him every three. If you could get them all all ten at once, it'd make it a little easier. But huh. anyway, all right. The next one is over here. Um, I'm not. Okay, this is one I'm never exactly sure how to pr how to approach it. I always forget what's the best way to approach it. I think what you want to do is right, it's right by this rock here. Aim for the entrance and the fences. Yeah, and then that usually works. There you go. That usually works very nicely. Use works quite nicely. Yes, I want to catch that thing on a bottle. Okay, that's three down, seven to go. But uh, because we have three, we have to take them back to the ghost dude now. One challenge I've got I've gotten pretty good at this ghost thing. One challenge I like to set for myself is I can I like to try to get all um, ten poses without having to run back without having to look for arrow re refills. Like I, I take the forty arrows I have because I can hold up to forty now that we have the upgrade, and I like to try to get all ten. Before I run out of those 40 arrows. Which actually it can be pretty difficult, you know. This is what I like to this is why you should get the arrow upgrade before you do this. Just so you have more arrows to work with. What am I talking to him for? You have to actually show him the pose, dude. So equip them all. There you go. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> so happy. Dude, what are you doing? No, show it to him. Yeah, he'll give you 50 rupees for every one until you give him the tenth one, then he'll give you a bottle. Very interesting. This is a big po. I can't skip this text. I hate that you cannot skip this text. Okay, dude, you're gonna need to shut up because I'm like out of time. Oh, okay, let's see. I think I have time to show him the last one here. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's very, it's it's tempting to read it every time just because you can't skip it. You know, it's appearing in front of you, 
so your your instinct is to, instinct is to read it. So you just want to read it every time, but it gets annoying. Anyway, I'm out of time, so next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll finish off the pose. So see you guys on the flip side. Peace out.